Hello, my name is Cornelius Hightower III, and I'm a mechanical engineer major at the College of Southern Maryland and soon to be graduate. Let me start by first congratulating each of you on becoming a member of CSM Spring 2021 graduating class. When I was first asked to serve as our class speaker, I was a little stumped about what to say. I was advised just to talk about my story, and so I started to sit back and think deeply about what my story was. But before I got into my story, first I want to take a minute to thank all my professors for my two years at CSM. I would like to thank all the people in the Math Resource Center for letting me help people daily, even through the pandemic. I would like to thank the CSM's pre-engineering coordinator, Ms. Janelle Lincolns, for always looking out for me throughout my time at CSM. And I would also like to thank my family, most of whom either have attended or graduated from CSM, for always pushing me to be better every day. So I cannot tell you about my complete story because it would take a very long time. But what I can tell you is that I'm one of seven children and, I, and that I'm the only boy. <laughs> when I tell people that, their usual response is, how do you survive? And my answer is, sometimes I don't even know myself. Honestly, I wouldn't change it for the world because my sisters offer me different perspectives on life which has benefited me when I'm meeting new people. I went to St. Charles High School and I've known that I wanted to become an engineer since ninth grade. Throughout my high school career, other students mentioned they wanted to attend big universities. But when it was time to apply to a four-year college, I didn't apply. Every day I heard on the morning announcements that someone else got accepted into a school and that they got a scholarship. And most of the times I felt left out because I never got my name called. You see, CSM was my first choice. When my friends learned of this, some of them said that I would be wasting my talents. But I knew differently. I knew how great CSM had been for my sister's successes, and I knew firsthand the value of community college. I knew firsthand the sense of family at CSM. And I knew that CSM was the smartest choice in town. So I talked to my dad and asked him why it was so hard to take the road less traveled. And he said, you're like a boat. It's no good to stay tied up to the pier. In order to have a worthwhile, worthwhile journey, you must venture into the deep waters. My dad was right. While at CSM, I became one of 14 students who joined the charter, the nation's newest National Society of Black Engineers chapter at CSM. I joined numerous clubs and volunteered in the community and participated in Student Advocacy Day, where I got to speak to, directly to elected officials in, in Annapolis about students' concerns and the importance of funding community colleges across the state for families like mine, who have working families, seven children, and big dreams. From here, I, I am attending University of Maryland A. James Clark School of Engineering to get my four-year degree, and will be getting hands-on experience in network opportunities at Patuxent River Naval Air Station. I have no doubt that I made the right choice to come to CSM, especially after my last year. In this last year, during a global pandemic, I and many of you faced enormous pain in our lives. Last fall, during my third semester, my life changed in approximately two weeks. In those two weeks, both my father and grandmother passed away from COVID-19, and in those instances, my drive for school was lost. I took a break from school to grieve my family and found out that getting up each day was harder and harder. My father and grandmother were two of the most important people in my life. But I slowly came to realize the only way when you lose somebody is if you stop loving them. And I will never stop loving my father and grandmother and I will carry them in the lessons they taught me for the rest of my life. I want to thank Ms. Lincolns again for sending me motivational messages every single day while I was grieving and she still sends me those messages till today. Many other professors and fellow CSM students often have checked on me. In a short period, my pain turned to motivation and I'm learning to let go of loss, anger, and fear. I met the tough, toughest obstacle in my life and I was knocked down, but I did not give up. I learned how to stand stronger and move through those deep waters my father warned me about. I've learned that pain strengthens you, but does not define you. What defines you is what you choose to do with that pain. The community at CSM is a family, and without that family, I do not think I would have overcome these recent toughest obstacles in my life. CSM is filled with uniqueness and diversity, and that's why, it makes, that's why this makes this place special. There are, many background, there are many different backgrounds and perspectives in life, and if you listen to the different voices here, you will learn valuable information more than any book. 
I know that many of you have similar stories as mine, filled with adversity. And I hope you share your stories as well. You may not know it, but your story has already served as a light to others who may be in the darkness, who may be in the dark themselves looking for a light to guide themselves out. My dad also said, your light was never meant to make you feel comfortable in the dark. It is meant to encourage those who are searching for a way out and for those who love darkness to feel uncomfortable. I made promises to my father and grandmother, as well as other family members, that I will try to keep getting better every day, whether it's mentally, physically, or spiritually. And that's my process. I know many of you have made promises to your family and yourselves. Make sure you keep those promises that you have made, because they may very well be the thing that inspires others to chase their dreams and goals. So my advice to the graduating class and anybody watching this piece is to value the process more than the product. There's no point of thinking about the destination if you can't realize the path to get there. Another piece of advice I would give you is to find your why. What excites you most about life? What gets you out of bed in the morning? This is also the thing that wakes you up without an alarm clock. My why is my family and all the people who saw something in me when I didn't see it in myself. If you don't have a why now, it's all right. Just make sure you find one. If you don't have a why, and eventually you're gonna get hit by something in life, you'll be knocked off your path very easily. Graduate, this is just another step in our journey and this is not the end. Whether you are moving to a four-year school, another technical school, or entering the workforce, make sure you say to yourself that today is not the last day I will celebrate reaching my goals. And remember that you will fail along your journey, but failure is just a negative way to say step towards success. Don't let your pain, failure define you. Learn from it and grow from it. I am grateful to be able to be your class speaker today. I am thankful for the CSM and my family for everything they have done and continue to help me and make each of us successful. This has been an amazing journey, but somehow I know the best is yet to come. Congratulations class of 2021 and good luck on your endeavors in the future.